currently invested around 100 million pounds worth into uh, the Falkland Islands itself. We have four major projects. One is the provision of accommodation at the remote radar heads, which is a direct operational output. The second major project is the improvements at Mare Harbour, which is to improve the berthing of the point class logistic vessels. The third project is the renewal of the power station and boiler plant, which will provide power and hot water to the whole of the estate for the next 35 years. And lastly but not least is the provision of a primary school for the families of the continuation posts on island. It's great working on the school project as you know it's going to give the um, children a new school, new facilities, better education for when they're down here. The existing facilities here at the power station are over 30 years old so these new works are replacing and renovating the facilities here which will give another 25 year lifespan to the equipment. The project we have running here at the moment to improve our railway facility has been vitally important. Uh, the, the port was designed back in 1983 with much smaller ships in mind. So now we, we get uh, strategic railway vessels, they're about 20,000 tonnes, 200 metres long. What we're seeing now as we approach the end of the construction phase is, is the outcome of really, really good project management, good design, good liaison with the client. These capital projects support that are effectively um, essential infrastructure. Uh, with the power station and the railroad berth, we effectively can't be here. Uh, the school and uh, the accommodation modules actually provide essential accommodation and teaching for the military families that are here. weather here is like nothing I've ever experienced before. The winds regularly get up to 70 mile an hour gusts. Everything closes down when winds are above about 25 miles an hour, which is very frequent. Often half a day, a day a week or more is high works have to close. Down here you have the added Falklands factor. The logistics and transportation of all our plant and material has been quite a challenge. We've had to bring all the machinery and materials we need. They've all been loaded three months ahead and they've sailed down here in a ship, so you can't just pop around the local corner shop if, you, if we've forgotten something. It's, the lads have had to work much harder in their trades. It's offered them a much greater insight to the variety that their trade can bring, particularly in the commercial sector. Um, it's a much higher spec building than we've ever done before in the engineers, and it's really challenging the, the, uh, the tradesmen, um, but that's, that's a good thing. It's, it's challenging them in good ways. The Royal Engineers, we um, the triple trade in effect, so combat engineer, um, soldier and tradesman and this is a real opportunity for those tradesmen. The reality is that delivering a higher end of infrastructure um, really tests those tradesmen and actually um, through some of the joint training we've done with the industry before deploying out here, um, the guys are actually improving way more than they would have um, if they go on some of our other exercises elsewhere um, overseas. This is provision of infrastructure for defence by defence.